Good morning, Guardians, and welcome to the channel. I'm Uncle Burrito, and today we're back with another Destiny 2 reset video. The last week in Destiny has been pretty eventful since I made the last video. We've had a quest for Thornton's Lego Live, and unfortunately it is a little bit broken. We've had some pretty uh, um, interesting community events and community outrage. But before I get into the vendors and the stuff for this week, I, just, I do just want to say, please do not abuse staff members from Bungie on Twitter or online or on Reddit. It is disgusting, it is unfortunate, it's unfortunate the quest is broken, but it is being fixed. Critique and opinion is fine, but no directed hate at people is okay. Anyway guys, so we're going to get into the Everest store and see what she's selling this week for Bright Dust and Silver. So let's go. Do the same to whomever comes next. Alrighty, so for silver we have blinding imagery emo. We have necrosis, the sh skin for the um, vice um, weapon there. We have the obsidian wing ship. That, that looks cool. Masterful flow emo. Ooh, got, got those fire moves. It's fire, it's fire. Let's go. Let's go in there. Nicholas Cage. Easy math, Guardian. Anyway. The silver, has the good. And this ugly ship. That ship's disgusting. Alright, we have Golden Age wine for. Uh, that looks kind of cool. These are for silver or bright dust right now. The trials. Sorry. No one cares about projections, man. Like the Dawn Shades. Boom. They're on. We have Arab Time ship. That ship's not bad. That's not bad at all. All right, and for more bright dust, we have Master Chef. Take as long as you like. I can wait. Oh, got the egg. Flip. Flip. Oh, that was the thing. We have the whirlwind finisher, oh, which is just a giant um, roundhouse. It's kind of cool, I'm not gonna lie. Taunt and flaunt emote. Uh, yeah, that is. That is a thing. We have another projection. We have the uh, Arbalist um, ornament there. That actually looks really cool. I like that. That looks really cool. Looking for something in particular? We have the ornament for the last tradition, which, I mean, I'm really fussed about, I'll be honest. And then we have the Lux gloves. For the Warlock, I believe it's the Gloves for the Titan and the Hunter as well this week. And then we have the War Set Arrival Transmit Effect. Not everything Venture sends is safe to sell. Which is actually really cool. That is really cool. As usual, we have the typical bounties from Shaq, Zavala, Banshee, and the Drifter. Warlocks, uh, so Titans, here is your uh, cool statue. Yeah. More ships floating out and about. We still. I've learned over the years to listen when a warlock speaks. That's nice. I still cannot see the Almighty in the sky. I actually went to EDZ before recording. Hey, look around. I couldn't see it there. If you guys see it, let me know. It's still. There's a there's an eagle up there. Still can't see it. Anyway, guys, let's get into the destinations. Alrighty. So for strikes. Hit the wrong mouse button. Alrighty, so the strikes we have Solar Singe, Grounded, and Brawler. Complete three of those, get your pinnacle drop. The Nightfall is the on a Tangled Shore. Alright, um, the Arms Dealer. It says a Tangled Shore, but then it says the Arms Dealer. It's real weird. And for Grandmaster difficulty, we have Fire Pit. When defeated, Acolytes spawn Fire Pools that cause damage over time. Cool. Champions Unstoppable, Champions Barrier, Chef, Grandmaster thing, Extinguish, Limited Recalls. And Anna's Chorus, Incoming Void and Environmental Damage is also increased. So not only are you going to deal with Solar Pools, increase Void Damage from everywhere. Cool. And the Nightfalls this week is a Garden World, the Pyramidian, and the Corrupted. Uh, nothing good comes from any of those. So, if you want to find them, 
run them, run them, but nothing good comes from them anyway. Gambit, same the same. Do three games of Gambit or Gambit Prime, get a pinnacle. That's cool. Uh, Crucible, we have Clash and Lockdown is the rotated maps this week. Also have the Rumble, Control, and Elimination, and Cyborg is standard. Nothing's changed there. Um, there's Double Infamy inside Gambit this week, so that's pretty cool. The weekly flashpoint is Yield Titan, so if you want to get yourself a, a powerful drop from there, be sure to do that. It's not a pinnacle, which is kind of weird to me, but still, it is what it is. On the moon, we have the three hunts of Fogoth, Dominus Gaul, and Tanix of Scouts. So we go to Fogoth and we look at the master difficulty. We have Empath, Enhanced Radar, take increased damage from melee though. Champions of Champions Barrier. To give them this base, health and regen is reduced if near another player. Health regen is increased. Cool, so don't stay together. Equipment locked, match game, champions mob, Torment of Fogoth, void damage increase, increased knockback, and distance is increased. So cool. So there's the thing there. It, it's pretty crazy. Fogoth's my favourite one, that's why I look at that one. But guys, that is pretty much it for this week's reset. There's not a lot going on. Um, I um, I'll, I'll tweet out when they fix the live quest. I myself haven't done the shotgun kills. I'm still up to doing the shotgun kills there. Haven't started it. Not in a rush. The shotgun will be there for a while, and to be honest, it'll get fixed when it gets fixed. So go stay patient, as always. Stay safe. Take care. Bye for now.